Falun Gong Chemicals. Overview, Falun Gong Chemical has sold a variety of raw materials related with the petrochemical industry and chemical addictives. Selling points of the material are the higher effectiveness or lower cost, but other features of the material tend to pose a threat to the users. The areas of influence are restricted to Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau, Singapore, and Malaysia, where traditional Chinese is employed. Initial investigations indicate that the corporation utilizes anonymous objects to produce and sell the items that are similar to certain raw materials. Item descriptions solely concluded that materials sold by the corporation itself are compared to similar products in the market, being more efficient and the customers could gain the same result or atypical increase in the yield with less material consumed to lower the cost. The corporation only provides materials at the moment that merely visible to single production in each order, and cuts off communication with each producer after the transaction completed. Attempts to gather information and document about the material transportation and freight have failed, and so are the attempts to capture the salesmen of the corporation. Interrogation of warehouse employees of each producer confirmed that they have received memory manipulation. It is suggested that the corporation is using the market to examine properties of its raw materials, while real goal remains under investigation. There is a consistent feature in specifications sent by the corporation to vendors. All contents in the documents are written in traditional Chinese, including numerals and technical terms. Recovering the items produced by Fong Gong Chemical are often faced with a lack of direct evidence or failure of pseudo-judicial means, resulting in monopolistic purchase becoming a common measure. When the item goes into the retail market, buying everything on the shelves of cash is a usual practice, leading to the financial deficit in the Z8 branch. The Mui Private Library and Museum Overview, Mui is a private library and museum set up in 1994. Its collections are mainly anonymous antiques and books. It is not open to the outside world. Each time of visit requires a booking appointment. It was discovered by the Foundation during the Beep event in 1978, and there has been a relationship between the two organizations since then. With the Foundation's assistance, the Mui Private Library and Museum has set up a branch in Hong Kong. In return, the Mui Private Library and Museum purchases and gathers anonymous collections to in favor of the Foundation, block the items from being transferred everywhere. In addition, the group currently cooperates with the Foundation's Department of Archaeology in research study on the history and excavation relating to anomalies. Currently, the contract of manuscript summarized that the group should be supervised by MPF, usher to the Court 8, God of Museum. The group are allowed to keep safe class anomalies they had owned and the Foundation is allowed to conduct experiment on its collections if the application is made two or three months in advance. The contract of manuscript may be adjusted any time as a response to any grey area or based on Foundation's new policy. The 8th Department of the National Security Bureau, Republic of China Overview not until recently has the existence of this extraordinary insidious organization been confirmed. It is considered a former governmental organization once annihilated by the Global Occult Coalition and MI666 during the Cold War. It is believed that the organization occupies anomalous areas in parallel universes and different dimensions, or the Nexus, for private commercial purposes fumbling an unnegotiable scale through colonization of Nexi and enslavement of a large number of native inhabitants there. The military force of the organization is considered to be highly threatening. In addition to actively tracing the GOC agents as assassination targets, 
It is also believed to be associated with other groups of interest, including the Serpent's Hand and Ambrose Restaurants, and to recruit substantial reality vendors and thaumaturgists into its ranks to enhance combat effectiveness. It is extremely hostile to the Global Occult Coalition. The Laundry Department Overview to Camellia Laundry Phantasm Orchid hereafter called to Camellia, has signed a non-disclosure agreement with the Foundation. It franchises the Foundation with anomalous washing technology and materials. And the Foundation ZH branch utilizes it not only to meet increasing and complicated needs of soil clothes processing, but to provide private laundry service as an extra monetization method. The Foundation ZH branch applies to Camellia's laundry barcode tag system and database and data integration. In addition, in addition, there are recruitment of personnel involved in the laundry service, and related task forces has been established. The Camellia is mainly a subcontractor delivering the service of clean, restoration, and maintenance. As long as a customer feels a subject as clothes or accessories, the Camellia will try its best to provide service, as mentioned above. It is known that the Camellia is in partnership with other groups of interest, and there are service outlets of the Camellia in several anomalous regions. However, its scope of business is mainly focused on laundry service in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau. The rest of the world is covered by other branch companies. The headquarters of the Camellia the Phantom Orchid Group runs the laundry industry. There are intelligence suggesting that the predecessor of the Phantom Orchid Group is the Association of Laundry Industry across the world. Today, there are no conclusive information about the internal aspect of the Phantasm Orchid Group. Zero Team, Royal Hong Kong Police Overview Zero Team Royal Hong Kong Police, formerly known as Zero Team Colonial Police Force, was founded in 1934. It was directly under the command of MI666, the Royal Occult Service, and mainly responsible for handling anomalous events in British Hong Kong, being a major security force in some anomalous areas in Hong Kong. The group had each of its members to receive prototype memory consolidation agent injections and was allowed to use power technology and or anomalous humanoid entities to perform tasks in order to crack down on local anomalous criminals more effectively. At the same time, it was responsible for information screening and blockade on anomalous events in British Hong Kong. As the sovereignty over Hong Kong was transferred to the People's Republic of China, Zero Team was officially reorganized in July 1st. 1997. Most of the anomalies that it possesses are taken over by the GOC in MI666. The reorganized zero team was seen named Charling Police Station. It is currently in charge of security in New Charling, an anomalous constituency in Hong Kong. It also assists in solving daily life problems of the inhabitants, but it continues to contain some no-threat-level anomalies acquired during the British colonial period and confidential documents of its predecessor. Sar Seers Overview Sar Seers, or simply called the Seers, was established in 1480 and had the name and mission changed several times over 600 years. Currently, the group's major mission is to collect the anomalies originated in Russia or should belong to the Tsar's treasury. Historically, the group was disbanded in 1920, and the members started to act secretly within a variety of organizations. Most of the members can be called, with the modern term, Type Blue, and their ability are ranked into different levels. Individuals of the Seers are harmless under most conditions. They even make great contributions to groups where they have inserted themselves. The exception is that they view Group Division P as the major enemy. The Seers 
are seeking the above mentioned objects, it is possible for them to conduct research on or even utilize these objects. They even create anonymous items themselves. They believed that everything created was somehow useful. It is generally a group not to be neglected as over half of the members are type blues. Bellthrower Overview Bellthrower is an anonymous organization mainly operating in the 47th parallel universe. Bellthrower are mainly constituted of a humanoid species which are called honored humans and their mission is to ensure the human rights and living space of honored humans. The organization is highly differentiated. Among them is Bell Throwing Hands Consortium familiar with developing and producing anomalous products. The consortium earns profits and rare materials for the total development. Generally, their products have clear purpose and good stability and might be allowed to be transferred to or from the foundation sites. As the conflict burst will usually bring about severe aftermath, such as an SK class dominance shift scenario, the Foundation treat bell thrower agents friendly according to protocols but remain cautious. Copweb International Overview Copweb International is a paranormal private military company founded in 1995, Macau. The business was started by a former servant's hand and a retired GOC personnel, a Miss Valentina de Oliveira Mons. The company undertake various safeguard contracts and became prosperous in the following 20 years. It receives contracts, it receives contracts from the Middle East, the United States, and three Portlands. Copweb International was a primary military company. Usually did not directly participate in attacks or defense in battle. Its jobs mainly include local safeguard, safeguard for motorcades or fleets, as well as some paranormal military training service, and rarely rescue important individuals. It often cooperates with various NGOs, such as the Mano Terrible Foundation. As the company employs a lot of anomalous humans, it grows up to a paranormal force, which the Foundation is to be careful of. Despite the fact of being a PMC, they usually accept requests from non-war areas, serving as a safeguard company then. Copweb International seems not to care about the bell being intact or not. It did not spare any anomalies that it can control and will utilize them in missions. It also actively recruits various paranormal employees. Such attitude makes the relationship between it and the Foundation as well as the GOC highly strained. However, it does not mean that it will never cooperate with the above-mentioned two organizations.